The tools you will need are a 2mm and a 3mm hex key and a thermometer. Please note that dependent upon the version of the shower valve, the cartridge may either be constructed from brass or polymer. The following procedure is the same for both types. Isolate both hot and cold water supplies. Put the plug in to ensure that nothing gets lost. To ensure isolation has been successful, carry out the following procedure. Turn the shower on, taking care to ensure that no part of your body is under the water outlet, as there is a potential for delivery of hot water. Remove the handle using the hex key. You will need to remove the handle prong to access the grub screw on the thermostatic handle. Remove the temperature stop ring. With the shower in the on position, replace the temperature handle on the thermostatic valve. Turn the temperature handle fully anti-clockwise until you feel a definite stop position and it can be turned no further. Then turn the temperature handle fully clockwise until you feel a stop point. Again, ensure that no part of your body is under the water outlet as there is a potential for delivery of hot water. At this stage, if no water is coming from the shower outlet, isolation has been successful. You may now carry out the required maintenance to your valve. If water continues to flow at any stage of the isolation process, it will be necessary to isolate at an alternative point in the system for both hot and cold water supplies and repeat the isolation process. Undo the grub screw on the underside of the body. Pull to remove the cartridge. Rinse or soak in descaler as necessary. To replace, check the valve housing to ensure that no debris is left, flush if necessary. Grease the valve using a suitable silicon lubricant. Insert the cartridge into the valve housing with the grub screw tapping lining up with the hole on the underside of the body. Insert the grub screw and tighten using the hex key until it is secure. You will now need to calibrate the cartridge. Unisolate both hot and cold water supplies and check for leaks. Turn the valve on and ensure the temperature control handle is turned fully clockwise into the cold position. Hold the thermometer under the water flow and gradually turn the handle anti-clockwise until you achieve 38 degrees and sustain it at this temperature. Replace the temperature stop ring with the stop point at 12 o'clock taking care not to move the cartridge spline. Replace the thermostatic handle with the stop button also pointing to 12 o'clock. Tighten the grub screw using the hex key. Replace the prong. Recheck the temperature to ensure that calibration has been successful.